Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy, simple home screen. As well, Happy New Year, it's 2021 and I hope it will be a, a better year, you know? Before we get into the stuff, I just want to say we're so close to 6,000 subscribers. Please make it 6,000, it's just, it's just epic. Just go over and like and subscribe if you're new, okay? Last thing, there will be one word hidden here and the first person who comments the word well, uh, he will get a shout out next video, so um, you can either look out for the word if you want, or you can just follow the tutorial because you're probably here for the tutorial. But you, know, you can get a free shout out, so yeah, it's a win win. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to go straight to the UIs, add a screen GUI, add a frame, and we're going to make that those like, uh, like usual, like home screens, normal home screen like kind of like a Bloxburg one if you know what I mean so uh, we're gonna make this well you know what we're actually just going to go over and just go here and just add a little field view a blur effect make this around well make this 15 because we still want to see a bit if you know what I mean by that and well actually let's make it 17 so it's a bit blurry a bit blurrier okay so you can have a little, you can pretty much see that there's a base plate here, you know. So, um, let's add a uh, text button and scale this up. Make it here, in the middle. And we're going to go over and make this blue. Let's make this lighter blue. Like this it looks pretty nice and uh, I'm actually gonna make this a bit lighter something like this you know so um let's just program the play button directly right now so we're gonna add a local script and we're gonna say local button equals game dot well script the parent actually and after we're gonna say local uh blur equals game dot lighting dot blur so we're going to say button dot mouse button when to click double dot connect function and we're going to say oops uh blur blur dot size equals zero or let's do blur dot enabled equals false and button dot visible equals false. Okay, so if you go over and test it, and we should already have the basics implemented. So we should already be able to play and we should already have a pretty nice home screen. So let's see this nice home screen here. You click play and that's it. You can go over and play. So as well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a uh, well, yeah, so uh, let's just go over and make it so the character cannot walk or cannot move around. So what we're going to do for this is pretty simple. We're going to go here and we're going to say uh, game dot players dot local player dot character dot walk speed equals zero. And we're gonna go over and change this to 16 i believe this is the default one so now if we go over and try to walk around while we are on the home screen we are not going to be able to walk around well never mind looks like we are so let's just see what's the problem here let me go over and take out the output walk speed is not a member of workspace.dev symphony yeah, when you go to the human order, I literally forgot about that. So, it's walk speed and it's 16 and default dot humanoid. Humanoid dot walk speed. Dot walk speed. So, now, if we play, it should be working. Okay. 
Okay, let's try it. Humanoid is not a member of workspace.dev symphony, so, um, humanoid. Maybe we misspelled it, humanoid. I don't think we did, so I don't really know what's going on. Maybe we should wait for the child. I think we should. Let's paste this real quick. Yeah, it's same, so we're gonna see it. We're gonna do like that. For child. Humanoid. Now we're just gonna take this and put it here. And boom. So now if this doesn't work, I don't know what to say. It should work perfectly fine. Boom. No errors. We cannot walk and we cannot move. We play. We can move. So, this is getting pretty, pretty good. So we already have a basic, nice uh, home screen. So if you want, you can add settings button yourself. And yeah, this is how to make a really, really basic home screen. So what I'm going to do real quick is make this home screen look better. Because, you know, we all know this looks kind of kind of ugly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over and add a little icon here. So I'm going to make one in, in Photoshop. Okay. Alright, so I just made a, a Photoshop icon. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it in real quick and add an image label. And let's simply paste the um, image, which is right. Ah, here. Let's see. All right, so here it is. I know it's not like that good of an icon, but it's not that bad, I think. So. Let's try to scale this to the proper size, something like that. And here it is. So I made this in like a few minutes. So yeah, smash like. Okay, so we're going to go over and put this to zero. Transparency one. And here we have it. So this looks pretty sick. Looks pretty good. So as well, we may want to make the button go with the flow, go with the theme a bit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over and make the button another color. And let's actually just maybe pick a screen color of, I don't know. Hmm. I think this looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, so here's our button. Pretty sick home screen. And as well, we're just going to go over and add local uh, icon equals script dot parent dot parent dot image label icon dot visible. No, not instance icon dot visible equals false. So now if we play, we should have everything working properly. Let's play. We can't move. We have that nice home screen with a nice icon. We play. We can move. Everything is working. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. It looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie. It's a pretty good uh, home screen. Smash the like if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 6,000. This is Devs, and I'm now out.